Hey guys, Sophia here, and today I'm going to show you how to make something with this pink cake and turn it into something even better. So I'm going to show you how to make a geo sprinkle cake like this. And first you have to start with a perfectly iced cake, which I already have for you guys. Right here. I did this all by myself. Just kidding. Erin did it. Thank you. Okay guys, so to start this cake, what you have to do is you have to cut, it's kind of like two triangles, and then I'm gonna cut out the actual cake. So I'm gonna make one triangle, that looks good, and another one, and then I'm gonna cut the opposite triangle this way. And it doesn't have to be perfect, remember, it's just your idea of what the inside of your cake looks like. So slowly I'm just gonna start <laughs> I know this looks like a mess now, but it's gonna look very awesome when I'm done with it. Okay. So in order to make all the sprinkles and everything stick, you have to cover it with some more icing just to make sure it's all evened out and then the stuff will just stick right to the icing. Almost got it. <laughs> so next I'm gonna take this knife and I'm gonna just spread it. And the trick is since you already cut it and there's gonna be crumbs, Keep the knife all the way down while you're doing it. So, like this. Almost got it. And you're gonna do the same for the bottom part that you cut out. <laughs> like that, ha ha! Now, if you have a little bit of crumbs on top, you could always just smooth it out into the cake. No one's really gonna know it's the inside of the cake. Who cares? So next I'm gonna make the sprinkles that go inside the cake. I'm gonna add some golden stuff, some sprinkled stuff. It doesn't matter what type you add, just add it. I'm gonna mix this a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in the spot that we cut out of the cake. Have a tray or something underneath so that when you put everything on, nothing gets on, or on your kitchen floor, you don't step in it. It's easier and it's not as messy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of sprinkle it first and then with my finger, I'm gonna just push it up into the sides of the cake so that it lasts. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour it because it ain't gonna work. You can pour, you can do whatever you want. It may come up a little, it's okay. So I'm gonna take some with my hand. That side's good. It's okay if you get messy. Now I gotta do the other side. This cake looks so awesome, so glittery. I cannot wait to finish it. I'm almost there, I promise. So you could go back and add some where it missed. Bam. Before we do the final touch on this cake, I'm gonna let this cake go back in the fridge and then chill, and then I'm gonna paint all the detail on because it's better to paint on the cake when it's cold, not when it's room temperature. Now that the cake has chilled, I could finally paint the final details onto this cake. So what I'm gonna do, I have some gold edible paint and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little paintbrush like this and I'm gonna just put the edge. It's okay if it's a little messy. So the paint just accents the sprinkles and it gives it a finished look. And you just wanna kinda paint it lightly just so it outlines the design that you cut already. You can see that I'm painting right on the icing. That's why it had to be cold. If it was room temperature, the icing, every time I went and painted, the icing would come up a little. So now I'm gonna do the bottom part. Even if you see any extra, you could take whatever color you're painting with and just paint over and cover up the edges like this. You could cover them up like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Very easy. Most there. Even if you're not the best artist, this cake can make you feel like an artist because all you do is you cut and you ice and it's okay if you make a mistake. That's the fun part. I just made this cake and it's pink, it's glitter, it's rainbow, it's everything I love. 
Share with me the cakes that you make at home. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and leave some comments down below. Tell me what you guys think of the cake and what you guys want me to make next. Bye.